hey 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 you guys so yes i am back in my bathroom i like the lightning in here it's it's interesting what the lightning looks like when it's dark in this video i'm going to be doing a hot oil treatment but this is going to be an overnight hot oil treatment because it has been a trying few days and so my wash day has been pushed further and further um so what I'm going to be doing is section my hair off. It's already sectioned off, excuse me. I'm going to be working with, with my hair in smaller sections. I have some water here in a water bottle and I have so many oils. What you hear is I have a cup of warm, warm water. I have so many oils here in this applicator jar. I have castor oil, sweet almond oil, mostly sweet almond oil, castor oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, Lavender oil, peppermint oil, ylang-ylang oil, did I say olive oil? Olive oil, coconut oil, not a lot of coconut oil. Um, yeah, I'll be including all of the oils below in the description box. I do apologize in advance because this was not a scheduled video, but since I was like, hey, I probably have about three or four more videos before I start get back, getting back into my review. So why not film so, it? So while I'm gonna be doing my hair, I'm gonna be chit-chatting with you guys, get you guys caught up on some things. But look, if you don't wanna hear me talk, I understand, no hard feelings, girl. Go ahead and put it on mute, fast forward to about the five mark, <laughs> five minute mark. So let me go ahead, you guys, I've already started on my hair. This section has taken me about an hour. And it's 8.30, so yeah. Um. So what's going on y'all? What's the tea? What's the tea? What my hair looks like right now. Let me lightly mist my hair. Again, this is going to make my hair pliable. Um, opening up those cuticles since I am low porosity. The cuticles of my hair are not working with me. And you guys, I thought for a minute here that my porosity was changing. However, what I think it is is that my hair it is possible possible to have different your hair to have different porosities just like different textures shout out to the green beauty channel if you are not subscribed to the green beauty channel she is everything she is honestly one of my favorite youtube Sorry, y'all. She's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. She has several vid videos on porosity. You should check her out. Um, and she did discuss in one video how your hair can have multiple porosities and even the strand itself can have multiple porosity. You could be low porosity here at the top and then high porosity towards the bottom. Perhaps. So yeah, nothing much going on, you guys. It has been a trying week. Um, JB has the pink eye and so he was sick for about two days prior to it when he woke up this morning his eye was closed shut and all gunky um, and then his ear started hurting today so needless to say I have been <sighs> dealing with him for the past few days but he seems to be in good spirits so anyway, besides that, y'all, nothing much. Just trying to get these videos out to you, helpful, so you ain't. <laughs> oh, real quick, when it comes to vlog, and I'm gonna get vlogs, I'm gonna get into what I wanna discuss, really. Um, what the hell is going on here? It looks like it's almost locking up, which is something I'm gonna discuss here in a minute. Um, I have been taping every now and then throughout this entire month. So there will be a January monthly vlog coming up probably in mid mid February. So you guys ain't got to work like that long, but weekly vlogging, yeah, it is in March, but I'll give you a little piece for um for February. Look at what that is doing. Y'all can't really see that. This right here is see how thick that is? You see that? It's mad it matted up. So Speaking of matted up hair, and let me zoom in so y'all can see me. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, and one young lady in particular, I saw her video, half of the video at least, today. Craving, what is her name, y'all? Craving Kiki Curls, Craving Curly Kinks. Let me look her up before I, um, Craving Curly Kinks. And I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with who she is let me let me start off by saying this she has beautiful hair 
beautiful hair. That's one of the reasons why I subscribe to her. She has beautiful, long, category four hair. We're talking about tailbone length. Is she tailbone length? Yeah, she's, a, she's tailbone length. Category four hair. Beautiful sister, beautiful hair. So she has a video titled YouTube Broke. What is it called? YouTube Broke My Hair? I should probably get this right before I start talking about it. YouTube Broke My Hair. Devastating setback. Yeah, she has beautiful hair and um, I'm empathetic to what happened with her hair. I really, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to tell y'all what I think happened, in my opinion. Long story short, um, she has almost like a 30 minute video in which she details or talks about, excuse me, a product which caused her hair to become matted and tangled. She goes on to say how she tried to use a detangle, excuse me, a conditioner to detangle her hair and it still wouldn't do anything. So hours and hours and hours into it, she decided to use a shampoo because she figured maybe the, um, the it's just build up. I mean, let me at least try to get the gel out. So a couple of things. Yes, there can be products that can make your hair, um, difficult to manage it's a nice word however i'm finding it uh, I'm, I'm not sure if a product i'm just gonna be honest i'm not sure if a product can actually cause your hair to become tangled or matted unless your hair was in a certain state prior to you using that product in the video she's saying how she's not sure if it you know she's not sure what happened but she feels as if it's the echo style gel that has caused her hair to become matted and tangled. Um, and I didn't get through all the video, like I said, but from some of the pictures she was showing throughout the commentary, looks like she was cutting, having to cut some of the damage. How do you want to call it damage? Because in my opinion, it wasn't damage. And what I really think happened, y'all. Um, and like I said, this is not... This is not to do a I told you so you should know better type of thing because look, a hair setback can happen to anybody. I mean, she clearly she knew what she was doing with her hair to reach tailbone length. Come on. Um so she said when she got into the shower to rinse out the gel, she noticed her hair started to curl up. Then she noticed, oh, these are not clear. These are not curls, excuse me. My hair is actually clumping together and her hair was severely matted. So she then used the Aussie's uh, conditioner, which in my opinion is not the best conditioner for detangling. When that didn't work, she figured, again, she figured maybe I have buildup. Let me use the clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoo. I don't think her hair was properly detangled prior to putting on the Echo Stella gel. Gel is used to lock in a style. So when she added the gel to already tangled hair, it doesn't have to be really, really tangled, just a little tangle, especially if you're if you're not used to that certain product. Just a little tangle can, can do it. Then when she wasn't able to completely detangle her hair after you know applying the conditioner she decided to use a clarifying shampoo which is a stripping shampoo so i'm stripping your hair of the product i'm stripping your hair of oil yeah that's what i really think happened is that <sighs> unfortunately she used a product that she was not that familiar with and then tried to correct the situation but made it worse by adding a clarifying shampoo but she and she didn't know you know in her defense and she even said it you know she wasn't sure but never ever ever shampoo your hair when your hair is matted or not properly detangled that is going to make it way worse so she got a couple of suggestions from people um i even suggested that she uh do a moisturizing um deep conditioner for a while and perhaps do protective styling um, some people were just really harsh. There were some harsh, excuse me, some harsh comments, but I mean, that's how it is when you all, you're a YouTuber, you know, you going to be subjected to people who are going to give you a harsh reality team and harsh meaning there were a couple of people that were like, you sh basically, you should have known better. Um, next time do your research before using a product or don't buy into what other people, and yeah, those that. It's all true, but people don't want to hear that when they're down. It's 
kicking somebody while they're down. They don't necessarily want to hear that at that time. So yeah, I remember when the stylist Erlette Pender, um, she always finger detangles my hair, you guys, always. She uses a, a pick, but mostly she starts off finger detangling, then she uses the pick to get the um, shedded hair out. <laughs> I remember one time I went to her with a wash and go. It took her between three to four hours to finger detangle my hair and my hair was not that tangled. It took her three to four hours and she even asked me um, <laughs> by the second hour, she's like, what did you use on your hair? And I told her to gel. She was like, oh, hmm. um, again, I am lightly finger detangling. Actually, I'm, I'm really on finger detangling tangling, and applying the oil. Again, this is going to set overnight because I'm tired. There's just no way I'm going to um, do my hair tonight. There's just no way. That, no. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue this process. And then um, in the morning, I shall wash it out. about two hours because again I'm trying to finger detangle as much as possible you see here I, I love this shower comb I don't know who makes this I've had this for a while um I think I got it from Amazon but anyway some areas I am using a comb um so what I'm going to do is what is that there is no way I'm going to sleep with a plastic cap, making all that noise. I'm going to be dreaming about groceries and stuff. So I'm just going to wear um, a bonnet. Oh, so real quick, I found my bonnet. And the vlog that I'm uploading next month, because again, it's stuff that's going on throughout the um, throughout the week. I am going to be talking about um, Craving Curl. I can't get her name correct. The young lady that had a setback with her hair. So yeah, that be that will be repetitive. But I wanted to talk about hair since this is real time, basically for me. Just in case you guys see, be like, why is she still talking about this? Because that was back in January, girl. Hey, you guys. So I took off the um, cap. It's been a couple of hours. It's like the next day, one o'clock. So what I did is about 30 minutes ago, I placed a heat cap on with a plastic cap. And now I'm going to rinse out the oil. Okay. So I know what y'all thinking. Like, do you have on makeup? Yes. Yes. Who puts on makeup? I do. <laughs> All right, and that is it. Now I'm going to keep my hair in twist because I'm about to shampoo my hair. This is what my hair looks like. So depending on your porosity, depending on the condition of your hair will depend on, in my opinion, how often you should do hot oil treatments. 
I'm not that great about it. I do a hot oil treatment every three months, to be quite honest. So, all right, you guys, that is it. Bye.